All right, thanks, Steve. Well, as the area continues recovering from the nor'easter, several communities are still dealing with uprooted trees and down power lines. In Situate, Rhode Island, a tree fell today, days after the storm. And with a, another storm approaching, people there hope things can get cleaned up as quickly as possible. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo has been in Situate all day long, tracking the damage from the storm. He joins us now live with more. TJ. This is one of many uprooted trees here in Situ, and it's a pretty big tree. And although the storm hit three days ago, the town is still dealing with falling trees. The hum of chainsaws can be heard throughout Situate, which was hit hard by strong winds during Friday's nor'easter. Sky drone 12 over a wooded area in North Situate. Hundreds of trees fell in town during the storm, causing problems everywhere. Sections of power lines came down and multiple roads needed to be closed over the weekend. Roads were back open today, but problems persist. After all the rain we've had, uh, the winds, a lot of the trees are loose in the ground, so even a, even a small gust of wind can take some of these trees down. That's what happened this morning in the Clayville section of town. A tree fell down and into the side of this house, taking the wires with it. The woman who lives here and her cat weren't injured. Well, I would take a good survey of the property, uh, take a look at what trees may look dangerous to them and uh, have a tree crew possibly come out and take a look at them. Captain Justin Chevalier of the Potterville Fire Department also said to look at the lines into your house from a safe distance to see if anything looks broken. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of time to act. The next storm is less than 48 hours away and more issues could arise. The problem with the next storm is going to be heavy, wet snow. So these weakened trees that are already a problem, uh, they're going to come down a lot easier than they came down in the last storm. And it's here in the northwest part of the state, north and west of the city, where some of the heavy, wet snow could fall on Wednesday. With the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.